Dinosaurs can be scary, some of them can be terrifying, and no others have the boundless terror factor of theropods, the flesh-ripping members of the Ornithocelidon clade. In this video, I'll discuss the lords of carnage in the dinosaur world, those who tower head and shoulders above the rest. These are called the Olympians, the High Elves, the Superheroes, the Saiyans of the theropod group. They're the artillery. As far as I can tell, most people use the term megatheropod for a really big meat-eating dinosaur, so I'm adding two restrictions. The animal in question must be a true theropod under the Baron et al. reassignment, and it must have a maximum mass of 5,000 kilograms or more. That crosses off 99% of carnivore dinosaurs right there, and made my job much easier. Of course, there was so much research involved anyway that I'm almost sure I missed something. If you can think of a dinosaur that meets the two qualifications and isn't included in the following list, please comment below. First, the two questionables. Campione et al. 2014 put Suchomimus, Baryonyx's bigger and fiercer cousin, at between 2500 to 5027 kilograms. Part of that variance is due to the uncertainty in any measurement of an extinct animal, but it's possible that large individuals of this river prowler did touch the edges of megatheropod land. The second questionable is the Resinosaurus, which sat right on the fence at 5000 kilograms. Flat 5000. Gregory S. Paul was giving a rough estimate, so Mr. T might barely qualify, and it might be a little too small. It's really difficult to tell. The placing of Mapusaurus in this arbitrary hierarchy is slightly more confident. Some older estimates limit it to only 3 metric tons, but Campione et al.'s mass study based on femur circumference places it between 4,300 and 6,000 kilograms, while Korea and Curry 2006 suggest it could be comparable to Gigantosaurus. It seems more likely than not that it occupies a position within Megadum, perhaps as a knight or some other well-off landowner. Next is, not surprisingly, a Tyrannosaur. Tarbosaurus, to be specific, a massive Mongolian beast that stocked the same ecosystem as Therizinosaurus. Gregory S. Paul, in the Princeton Field Guide to Dinosaurs, puts it somewhere in the 5-ton class. Its less famous relative actually outweighs it. Zhusheng Tyrannus, from China, would have been closer to Duke status with its 6,000-plus kilogram frame. Dave Hone, its discoverer, theorizes about its maximum size on his blog, Archosaur Musings. I highly recommend you check it out. In a similar range with the Asian Tyrannosaurs is the obscure but massive Chalantisaurus, also from China. Brusate et al. 2010 provides measurements from 4,400 to 6,000 kilograms. It might have been as long as 13 meters. Frankly, I don't know why such a big predator hasn't received more attention. Acrocanthosaurus, fortunately, has had a good share of appearances in popular culture, with an apex predator role in Raptor Red and a rampage scene in Dinosaur King. Its savage-looking spine and formidable 6.1-ton mass, however, make it an actor more along the lines of Schwarzenegger than, say, Depp. North Africa represents a notable part of Megadom's citizenry, including what was speculated to be a giant Tyrannosaur, Bahariosaurus. Smith et al. 2001 mentioned it being comparable in size to Tyrannosaurus. Of course, that was written when most mass studies for Tyrannosaurus resulted in underestimations, so Bahariosaurus probably wasn't much larger than 6 tons. The next great monster that makes up Megadom's magnificent forces is deceptively... herbivorous. Dinochirus, despite being mistaken for a hadrosaur by the occasional toddler, is in fact a theropod, and a very dangerous one. I would hate to be the predator to get those car-sized claws embedded in my side, especially when they're being powered by a 6,400-kg titan with the face of a satanic duck. Dinochirus is the strange hermit living in the swamps of Megadom, and it's obvious why most people leave him alone. Sauroniops and Tyrannotitan as well as being similar in size, are together because of the awesomeness of their names. It's difficult to beat the Eye of Sauron and the Tyrant Titan, after all, and each of them may have ranged in the mid-6,000s when it comes to kilogrammage. Now what I want to see is a 10-ton Tyrannosaur named Glaurung Dracopater, or Morgoth Utumniensis, and Caligon is already taken by a Paleozoic Worm. Darn. Brazil fields one of South America's largest theropods, and one of the strongest warriors that all of Megadom has to offer. Oxalia, a massive Spinosaura, dominated the rivers of South America and guards Megadom's mega-sized moats from those pesky supercrocs. It's big enough to put up a fight against guys like Dinosuchus too. Five to seven tons isn't something to blow bubbles at. It seems appropriate that the leaders of an army should be more dangerous than the rank and file. So to command all the Oxalias, enter Spinosaurus, a 15-meter monster that graphic double integration analysis combined with figures from Abraham et al. places at 6,000 to 7,700 kilograms a truly mighty water-obsessed prince of the kingdom who eats anyone that dares to jest of his deformed legs. Gigantosaurus is indeed a tricky fellow. Perhaps the old, creepy royal uncle with a beard that keeps getting longer throughout the movie. The only somewhat intact specimen we have is measured by Scott Hartman to be 6,800 kilograms. 
Granted, that's a much higher baseline than any other megatheropod on this list so far, but I don't want to overestimate an animal that has already been inflated so much. The fragmentary specimen, a dentary, could be isometrically scaled to 8200 kilograms, but dentary size can vary widely among individuals. The king and queen of Megadom both have uncertain limits. Tyrannosaurus rex and Carcharodontosaurus saharicus are absolutely titanic predators. And multiple studies and measurements by John Hutchinson, Paul Serino, Christoph Hendricks, and Scott Hartman place them each at very least in the 8-9 to nine ton range. Dave Hone and Thomas Holtz are both supportive of the idea that T. rex and C. saharicus could have approached or exceeded 10 tons. There is no clear verdict between these two. Carcharodontosaurus seems longer, and Tyrannosaurus was more muscular proportional to its length. So until more discoveries are made, we'll have to swear equal allegiance to the rulers of all Megadom. Thank <laughs> you.